In this problem, we're trying to identify the properties that we use when we solve an algebraic equation like this one, where you've got some parentheses, so you have to do some distribution. And then there's usually that step where you add or subtract something from both sides. And then there's usually that last step where you divide by something. All of those steps have names, fancy names, the addition property of equality, the distributive property, the multiplication or division property of equality. And then I've added simplifying down here because there are some steps where you're not really applying a property, you're just simplifying. So this type of problem, you know, you don't really need to know the names of the properties to be able to solve an equation like this. But, you know, it's good to know what the mathematicians call it. And this chart will probably make it not too terrible uh, to do. So let's see how this one works. We have this problem three times quantity 4v plus 2 equals negative 30. So the first thing you want to deal with is the parentheses here. And we've got this number right outside the parentheses. That means we need to distribute it. So we're going to multiply 3 times 4v. That makes 12v. Uh -huh, and that's what we've got in the next step. And then 3 times 2 is 6. And that's what we've got in the next step. So that's what they did. They distributed. And you can probably guess the property here is going to be the distributive property. So that's the first step. The next thing they're doing here, you can see they're subtracting 6 from this side, and they're subtracting 6 from this side. And that makes sense, because we've got this plus 6 here hanging out with the v term. We want to get rid of that. So you may be able to guess this already, but that is called the subtraction property of equality. You're subtracting. That's called the subtraction property. If this was a negative 6, we would have added 6 to both sides, and that would be the addition property of equality. So this one is subtraction property of equality right there. OK. Now they've moved from here to here. And that is really just doing the subtraction, subtracting the 6 from this side and subtracting the, the 6 from the negative 30. That's where we're going to put simplifying. Because all you're doing there is, is the actual calculations. You're not applying the property like we did up here when we decided to subtract 6. So this one's just simplification. Here in the next step, they're dividing both sides by 12. And you know that you need to do that to get 12 alone. You've got to undo the multiplication by dividing by 12, dividing by whatever is multiplied by v. So that is going to be your division property of equality. And then finally, they actually do the calculation on the division. That is simplifying again. So this one is also going to be simplifying. And you come up with v equals negative 3. So that is how to identify the properties you're using when you solve an equation like this.